Hey everybody, welcome back to iPod Review. This week we're reviewing Jean Guy by Good Supply. Check it out. Hey everybody, how's everybody doing? How's everybody dealing with the weather? I'd love to know. Uh, we've been getting like minus 40 degrees. Um, so yeah, so the furnace has been going on non-stop. So if you hear that coming on and off. Uh, anyway, so yeah, good old Ontario in January. It's just, uh, it's freezing out here. So in any case, we're gonna be reviewing uh, some Jean Guy, which is a good Canadian strain. Well, how do I say? So, so Jean Guy is a Canadian made strain, uh, but it's considered to be a in, in the family of the White Widow, okay, of the White Widow plant. Though, whereas the White Widow typically will be a hybrid, uh, Jean Guy, um, and part of the reason why I wanted to try this is Jean Guy is more of a, a sativa, okay, so it's sativa dominant. I had some people comment all plants are, are, are hybrids, but they won't necessarily be considered hybrid unless they're uh, closer to a 50 50 split between sativa indica, whereas as uh, here we're talking probably more like in the 80 or 90 range uh, sativa. Uh, I don't have the exact stats on that, but that's usually the, the rule of thumb. Uh, in any case, um, we're gonna start off by smoking this. We're gonna talk a little bit about the strain. You're gonna go on the OCS website, talk a little bit about that, see how you can find it. So of course I'm smoking some, uh, some joggy with you guys. So if you got one, spark it up. So what we're doing here is we're going to uh, first start off uh, just on the regular OCS website. If you do a search for good supply, you'll find that there's only one strain. Um, but oh, if you do a search though for just Jean Guy, you'll see that it's actually offered by Seven Acres and Good Supply. But one from Seven Acres is actually a little bit more expensive. It's like $13.70. Um, and the THC range was 15 to 24 percent. I wanted to try this one. The range was a little bit higher, and it's seven dollars and fifty cents, which is like right now one of the cheapest weeds you can get on the OCS website. So they say this is a sativa dominant plant with very strong THC potency, and they say the range is like I said, 16 to 26 percent. So let me just show you what we got. Um, I was disappointed, without a doubt. We ended up getting actually 15.93 percent. So that's not even 16%. So I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, they say also the CBD is between zero to 1%. We got 0.07%. And here they give us the, the, the terpene profile, which will be beta caryophyllene, lemonine, linanol, terpenoline, and myrcene. Now this typically will have, um, like the beta caryophyllene is a bit of a, of a peppery smell. Uh, whereas the lemonine is, of course, like the name sounds, very lemony um, or citrusy, they'll say. In other words, uh, you've got linanol or linalol, uh, which will give you also a citrusy spell. <coughs> uh, but it also has um, a sweetness or a sweet flower smell. And a terpenoline uh, will have a bit of a woodsy and smoky smell. And myrcene is typically the, uh, the terpene uh, that will give you... Um, a sweetness to your weed. Okay, so I always feel really weird about telling you guys what I smell, but I'm trying to be honest here, okay? So, and to tell you in ways that that, that aren't so technical, but what I smell, yes, I smell some citrus, but I also smell um, uh, like a smell of hay, like a, uh, just regular, like a, like barn hay. So it's a bit woodsy, um, and so some people would also describe it as being a bit woodsy, maybe earthy, um, with a bit of citrus. But I, I smell a lot of a little bit of citrus with a lot of hay. It's not the greatest smell that I've ever had. Um, so yeah. So what else do they say about this? They say that it gives a citrusy taste. Uh, it's a green sativa dominant strain, greenhouse grown in natural and ecologically friendly environment. Um, strong THC potency available in many dried flower weights and pre-roll packs. So yeah, so if you get one gram, it's $7.50. 3.5 grams, it's $24.90. 
um, which works out to be $7.11 per gram. And then seven grams is uh, four, uh, $47.25, which works out to be $6.75 per gram. That's your best bet. I would always recommend that. When we went on the site, they weren't offering seven or even 3.5. They only had one gram. Right now, like you see, they're all sold out. Uh, we ended up getting two grams. So I wanted to have a little bit to, to smoke and a little bit to, uh, to experiment with. So I, only, I got two grams of this stuff. Uh, so check it out. I got a little video of that because I weighed it as usual. Check it out. Um, so yeah, so the um, the weight was uh, was well over if you see the buds though I don't know if you got to notice. I'll show you some better pictures right now now. I, I, I'm gonna <sighs> All right, so we have huge containers that hold three and a half grams and then we have these cute little bags which I prefer kind of um, in terms of, uh, of the environment and all that but um, our buds were super squished. They ended up being like, uh, they looked like a little uh, a pot jerky or something or little pot uh, bud pancakes. They were like so small. And plus like when you add the fact that they were kind of really crumbly and it, it sort of felt like they were very delicate as I was holding them, like it would have just fallen apart. When you zoom in a little bit, um, the, then you start seeing that it's got some nice crystals. Um, the look isn't quite so bad when you get right in there. Uh, though the the taste of the bud wasn't super fantastic. It is kind of citrusy, um, uh, a bit woodsy maybe you could say, uh, but not really fantastic. And the, the buzz though is your typical, you know, cerebral buzz. It's not a body buzz. Uh, so it, it, it was a really kind of a nice uh, change from what I've been doing lately with all these Indicas and I where I've been having this like intense couch lock. I like that I've been able to uh, to be functional again, right? So just over the last couple days, this is what I've been smoking, but Overall, I don't know look, but you kind of have to take the good with the bad. It's seven dollars and fifty cents If you're though on the flip side if you're just looking for something that's cheap that smells good and tastes good and like we reviewed strawberry ice and strawberry ice by uh, um, Northern Harvest it was it was a 750 and they, had, they were they were nice buds. They had a nice smell, um, nice taste. I when in, when I reviewed it the first time, I said I didn't really taste strawberry, but I ended up passing that along to some other friends who said they did. So maybe you would, right? So for the price, if that's all you're looking at, there are other options uh, in terms of a, of um, uh, of a sativa. Others that we we've, we've reviewed that I really liked as well were uh, Fantasy Island by Synergy and White Shark by Ritican. Uh, and both of those will have like your ups and downs depending on, on how you're looking at it, right? This is one of the only really cheap sativas out there uh, at $7.50. And if you end up getting yourself seven and a half, seven grams, and then it's really your best deal uh, at that point. So yeah, I recommend it to people who are looking for that specific um, thing. Um, so yeah, so that's my recommendation. So that's all I got to say about that. I hope you guys like my videos. If you do, make sure you like, you subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Catch you later.